Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'll actually be answering a question that one of you guys asked me. Thank you, Crystal, for asking me this question. So Crystal asks, can you do a video on being a cosmetic formulator versus a cosmetic chemist? I've seen a few people that are creating excellent products, but they're not going to school for cosmetic chemistry, and I'm just curious on your perspective. This is such a great question. All right, you know, we gotta get the intro out of the way. <laughs> you thought I forgot? <laughs> <laughs> my name is April. If it's your first time here, I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end and front end of skincare formulations. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said, this is a really good question. Um, I know you guys have seen a lot of celebrities, a lot of people that are, don't have any science background coming out with products. Now in the US, it's fairly easy to come out with a product. That's why you have sites like Etsy and Amazon. You know, anyone can literally wake up and sell a skincare product because the FDA will only harass you if your product causes someone a burn or irritation of any kind. Compared to the UK, they actually have like a toxicologist go through your products before it goes into the market and make sure that it's doing everything that it's supposed to do and not cause an adverse reaction. So it's a little stricter in the UK. So you can learn how to formulate products, okay? You can learn how to be a formulator. There's courses, I think Chemist Corner, which is a really popular cosmetic science website. You can learn how to formulate products on there. It's not that hard to learn how to formulate products. The thing is, if you really wanna get hired and be taken seriously in this industry, you do have to go to school for it. I mean, it's kind of mandatory. You will have to go to school, you know, for those big brands to hire you on and take you on. So as far as the celebrity, Celebrities that are making skincare products, uh, those celebrities usually will go to like a brand that you know has like a huge R&D department that has a budget for it. Like for example, 50 Cent actually came to my job and he did some hand sanitizers with us. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah, celebrities, you just have to do your homework, look behind the scenes, see the research that they did, see if they really followed the process and you know, went through everything that they should go through before starting a product line. Do your homework, you know? A lot of times all you have to do is just research and make sure that that person is coming from an ethical place and doing the right things. Um, yeah, but as far as you, if you wanna be taken seriously as a formulator, you do have to go to school. But if you just wanna formulate and DIY and make products for yourself, by all means, I am not stopping anyone from doing that. All right, this was gonna be a really quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment below uh, what you think. Do you make products at home? Are you a formulator? Do you wanna be a formulator? If you have any questions about formulating, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.